Hello City Bestie. Welcome back to Creative Peace exclusive interview with me Lutfi and right now we have a legend name in the jazz scene. I think like the one of the pioneer of the acid jazz scene I think. And their song like long lasting until now and now uh, I listening to their new album called Into You. It's like wow, I think like it's a long time we are interview them. Like the last one in the 2015 in the same place in Java Jazz Festival. So without further ado, this is my guest today for Creative List exclusive interview Java Jazz 2024 special. This is Incognito. Nice to be here. Okay, how are you doing? How are you doing? We're fine. We always get a beautiful, beautiful feeling mm. prior to coming here. We we were all talking about it and. We're all excited, so when we get here, mm. it's always even better than we imagined because the people are really nice. We've been in Bandung and already played, and now we play Java Jazz tonight. So it's 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 a beautiful place for us to come to. Good food, mm. smiling faces. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, what's so special about Java Jazz Festival? Well, there's so many bands traveling from all over the world. It's it's a real international thing, mm. and uh, we sometimes meet these bands maybe once every two or three years, oh. or some of the new bands we're looking forward to seeing them. We've never seen mm. them. Mm. It's just a chance for us to mingle, mm. jam sessions, uh, gigs, mm. conversations at breakfast. Mm. You know, having lunch together, meeting people. It's a wonderful way for us to be interacting mm. with other creative spirits. So the last time you've gone to the Jaffa Jazz is like 2015, like so many changes, I think, like in nine years. Like what changes in Incognito in nine years? Well, there's, there's two years where we did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> And so therefore the new album is a double album mm. because we just wanted to give the fans what they've been missing. Mm. And... Uh, The change, the world changed after that. Yes, it is. You know, f- people were flying less and people were had lost their jobs and everything. So we felt it was important as, uh, as musicians and songwriters and singers that we pick up their spirits, we lift them, and we try to help people mend mm. because music can be uh, very much a healing thing. Mm. Uh, not just a, a party thing, you know? Yes, yes, yes. So. Okay, so let's talk about your newest album. It's like the newest, it's like last year album called Into You. So tell me more about that album because it's very interesting. It's like your comeback album, I think. Well, we've got 19 albums, so we've been made, made many comebacks. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is just the latest in the series of, Of, of music that we are inspired to make by being on the road. We, oh. we travel together. This is These are songs that reflect the team that was on the road prior to making the album. Mm. And uh, it's, it's a ce- celebration of life like all our music is. Something for everyone. And uh, we have new singers, two new singers on Ooh. this on this record. Mm-hmm. And uh, But we also had Tony who's been with us for quite a while. Mm. Yeah, he was quite inspira- inspirational to me in actually being there. Even on some songs that he wasn't singing lead, mm. uh, I had t- Tony's hum- sense of harmony in mind. And uh, Francis, who's our new musical director, mm. he was there throughout and being on a creative side. So mm. it was just great to be back in the studio and not locked away in... in, in in the pandemic so mm. we could really celebrate on this record it's a post pandemic record so you know who, who would have thought what was going to happen to us so this opportunity to make music mm. is always a joy for us but even more so coming out of a pandemic and i think when i heard uh, into you i think like it's like a more laid back it's like more chill i think it's like more romantic album in my opinion like is it true from uh, your side oh you spend a lot of time during a pandemic with your, with your partner <laughs> so you better be writing some romantic stuff <laughs> because i think like into you like i think like it's like the chill and 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 laid back i think it is it is like you know it's like not heaviest uh, heavy heaviest things that i heard on the incognito music in my opinion yeah i think you've got to reflect 
the spaces that you're in. There's two new singers there. I, every album that I make with a, with a different singer, I try to think about that person and what they're going through. Mm. One of the singers have just fallen in love. Ooh. One of the singers, uh, one of the singers that was celebrating the fact that she has found new love. Mm. So I'm not surprised that there is a romantic touch to it, and the tempo is reflects these voices. It was very important for me to make the tempo reflect the people who are performing it. Mm. That way, when you perform it live, it's your truth. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. So, okay, uh, regarding about uh, this uh, two members, uh, so uh, why uh, do you guys jo want to join Incognito? I think I'm, I, I better ask these guys. Yes. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I'm not a new member. Huh? Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, the thing is, is that being a part of Incognito is, with, with every single band member that's, mm. that's in this band even now, mm. and those that have been in the band from the years before, mm. This is an institution, and it's 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 in a sense for every musician. It's a, it's kind of, in in many ways, a, a, a coveted gig, mm. where lots of musicians around the world have always wanted to have that experience of playing in the band. Oh wow! So for me to get the call mm. many many years ago, um, I, I was it was mind blowing, um, and every um, album that we've made and every tour that we've done, and there's many places mm. that we've been to, on on multiple occasions. Each time has been a new experience. Mm. And it's always uh, revitalizing and energizing, and also it gives the inspiration for me as, as well as a, as a songwriter myself to 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 put it into my own music. So um, yeah, it's great. Francis, it's really as the world turns my friend, isn't it? Yes. So um, my uh, when I first worked with Incognito was mm. in two thousand and five, and it actually was here in. in Oh, wow. Java yeah, Jazz, right. yeah, yeah, my first oh, wow. show. So, uh, and that call came mm. kind of out of the blue, but I did know Bluey for like quite a few years before mm. before I got the call to do it. Mm. And uh, as Tony was saying, you know, there's uh, there's many, many people who would love to play in Incognito, even mm. just once, just to know what it's like to play at that level. This band has a real reputation for mm. its musicality, musicianship, etc. Mm. Um, but, um, so I was over the moon. But I, I couldn't see what was coming next. Mm. It's just everything's been like a, a really lovely kind of surprise. All the opportunities that that have come from from joining the band. So I've gotten to to co-write, co-produce, um, travel the whole world, um, experience the amazing fan base that Incognito has got, which is great because after a few years of, of touring with this band, mm. you start to see the same face. You start making friends. Ah. So now around the world, when I go, it doesn't matter where I go. It's like, hey man, you know. If, if I haven't seen a person for a while, it's great to kind of catch up. That's been happening all this week. Mm. Um, so it's, it's satisfying on many levels, musically, mm. um, in terms of friendship and spiritually. Okay, so for the Mr. Bluey himself, it is like incognito, it's running like almost 40 years, I guess. like 45. 45 years. Why you want to still make you music after 45 years? Okay, you've got to understand why I started this band in the first place 45 years yes, ago. Yes, and until now. I've always, since the age of five, I, I, I wanted to play music and, and travel the world. So by the time I begin Incognito, I have everything in place. And uh, I don't want to be in another band. I want, because an, a band is a gang. Oh, I was okay, in many okay. bands leading up to being in incognito mm. incognito is a collective mm. Mm. it's a it's a soul jazz collective mm. or you know more to the point a jazz funk collective yes so for me it's it's inspirational to have new voices new musicians it it takes you on different journeys mm. it reflects where we are at the time sometimes it's also very sad for me sometimes i i, I write with the feeling that I've just lost somebody oh. because, you know, somebody, some members left. But Incognito, I quickly learned that it's a platform also for other, for, for people to be able to kind of grow into their own careers, but also to be able to uh, have opportunities of working with other people. Mm. And I didn't, and I wanted that for myself. You know, we've, we've worked with Shaka Khan, we've worked with, George Duke, we've worked with Stevie Wonder, yes. you know, those those things, a dream come true. But 
for me, I wanted to create a platform that all the members that that are, that are coming to the band that I be, befriend and become part of of their family mm -hmm. to make sure that they're okay and that they have they they have opportunities that will raise the, their profile, but also their um, their everyday life. For instance, mm -hmm. we were just about to go on a tour and. Uh, Sade was rehearsing in the same building, and uh, she couldn't uh, she she couldn't find the the right person to come and be a male vocalist on the road with her. And uh, mm -hmm. I went to her rehearsal, mm -hmm. and I looked at the list of people that that she had, and I mm -hmm. saw how they were behaving when they walked into the room. Mm -hmm. And I thought, then then they're, they're not going to get this gig, you know, mm -hmm. because she's sensitive and. And she has a certain, you know, a certain kind of manner, a certain style that okay. she carries, and you've got to be aware of that, mm. and and also be willing to be to be charming, but mm. also to to put yourself forward confidently. Mm. And uh, and I and I called Tony mm. and uh, put put his name forward, mm. and he got the Sade gig, and he Woo! went on the road and did two Sade albums. <laughs> Damn, you know, and right. damn, damn, <laughs> the, the legendary Sade. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. and and it's been like that right from the beginning. I remember, I remember two guys coming in on the Incognito's first gig in 1981. We uh, first live show. Two guys walked into the room, and I, I'd been told by a, re a major record company mm. that they are coming to have a look at my band because they are looking for musicians, Ooh. and I said. Well, what's their name? Say, don't worry, you'll re you'll you'll see when you'll recognize them when they come in. Mm. And it was George Michael and Andrew Ridgely of Wham, you know. And I lost three members of my band that night, but I was happy because they had a brighter future and they had careers with uh, with the very best in music. And the same thing happens to Fr with Francis with Italian artist Gianna Nannini. He you know he takes a little time and goes and plays live with her because it brings. Uh, a, a different dimension to his career and also gives him stability so you have to be to be an incognito you have to understand that it's like a family and dad is happy that you're doing well if you're not doing if you're not yes. if, if, you, if you're not doing well even though dad wants you around and dad wants you around because mm. he loves you you know but dad is also very happy that you 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 can fly solo Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, 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 so what, like, son? <laughs> <laughs> I still speechless because wow, it makes me goosebump I think to be, you know, uh get the member uh, from Wham and Sade I think like it's 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 a really nice story I think. It's a really amazing story I think. Thank you. Wow, and that's it. Uh, that, that's uh, and we got a one last question. So, what's next for Incognito after this? I'm not telling you. No. Okay, so we we conclude. <laughs> well, in a way, we're being we we're joking, but in a way, it's it's obvious. Mm. Uh, it's more of the same. It's mm. touring the world. It's writing. It's it's communicating. It's uh, traveling together, laughing. Mm. You know, I've, this band. I've I've seen many bands on tour, and I've traveled with many bands, with many people on tour. Mm. This band is the funniest band to be in because <laughs> yes. it's, it's why 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 because you got Tony in the band, for <laughs> <laughs> and you got Francis, and. And these characters, mm. you know, and by the time you meet our, our drummer and then you meet our keyboard player, Kiko, yeah, Kiko. it's like, you know, it, it's it's a crazy ride. And even when when things, <laughs> to, to give you a, a description of what it's like to be an incognito, when mm. the tour bus breaks down in mm. the middle of nowhere mm. in America mm. and it's raining mm. and there's holes in the roof of the of the of, of the bus mm. and it's raining inside we've got umbrellas inside the coach <laughs> you know we're singing songs and we're joking about it we're not moaning you know um, <laughs> and there's there's some people that would quit at all mm. at, when when that happens we embrace it and we make it part of our life stories because 
what we do on the road and what we do on on our albums is is part of our daily life mm -hmm. and it's we create beautiful memories because at the end of the life that's all you're going to have is fantastic set of memories and that's the way to be all right anything to add no and I, well, I'm just, everything what Blue just said is exactly that it really so, yeah exactly that Okay, 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 okay. But can you say it in a Jamaican accent? <laughs> okay. But well, you know, you know the thing about being an animal is an attitude. Why are you laughing at me? Don't laugh at yeah, me. Jamaican just... cockney accent. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, mate, the thing is, mate, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So that concludes our interview with the Incognito nine year after my first very interview with Creative Disc with Incognito. And right now, uh, I meet again with the Mr. Bluey himself, nine years apart. So thank you so much uh, for thank this you. interview. Thank you so much. So don't forget to check out uh, Incognito performance on Java Jazz Festival, of course. And also, don't forget to subscribe to Creative Disc on the YouTube channel and go to thecreativedisc.com too. And I'm Lutfi. And this is Incognito signing off. Thank you so much for listening this interview and viewing this. See ya on the next interview. Bye-bye. Terima kasih.